Have you ever wondered about the ancient practice that claims to cleanse your ears of hidden toxins? Well, we're about to embark on a journey into the captivating world of ear candling. But before you dismiss it as just another health fad, hold on to your curiosity, because the truth behind this age-old ritual is far more intriguing than you might imagine. Before we dive into mysterious practice of ear candling, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay updated on our latest content. Ear candling is a holistic therapy involving a specific procedure. The process begins with the person lying on their side, one ear facing upward. A specially designed hollow candle, typically made of beeswax and cloth or paper, is lit at the top end and gently inserted into the ear canal. The practitioner holds the candle in place to create a seal, which is believed to generate a vacuum effect. The candle burns for approximately 10 to 15 minutes, with proponents suggesting it can draw out earwax and debris while others claim it removes toxins, though this assertion lacks scientific support. After extinguishing the candle, it's cut open for examination of the contents, which some interpret as removed toxins or earwax. But does it really work? Ear candling dates back centuries to various cultures. It was believed to have therapeutic benefits. However, there's limited scientific evidence to support these claims. So, is it a genuine detox method or just a placebo effect? Many experts, including medical professionals, audiologists, and researchers, have raised significant concerns about the effectiveness and safety of ear candling. One of the primary concerns lies in the lack of scientific evidence supporting the claims made by proponents of ear candling. There is no concrete data to demonstrate that ear candling effectively removes earwax, toxins, or impurities from the ear canal. Moreover, the procedure poses substantial risks, including the potential for burns and injuries due to the open flame proximity to the ear. Critics argue that the claimed vacuum effect is dubious, and the residue found inside the ear candle is more likely a result of the candle itself burning rather than representing removed earwax or toxins. Ear candling remains a practice shrouded in both intrigue and controversy. While some proponents believe it can remove earwax and toxins, scientific evidence to support these claims is lacking, and the safety of the procedure can be a concern if not administered by a skilled practitioner. For those seeking safe and effective solutions for ear health, consulting a medical professional is strongly advised. Evidence-based treatments such as ear drops, irrigation, or professional ear cleaning are more established and reliable options. Ultimately, when it comes to the enigmatic world of ear candling, it's essential to prioritize safety and make informed decisions regarding your ear care. If you want to see more content like this, please make sure to subscribe to our channel.